I brought with me today a very special book called Dao Jiao Mi Jue Ji Cheng, a collection of Taoist secrets, teachings that are always taught orally. Uh, only uh, people who are going to do it, learning from a Taoist master, a true master, ordained at the great Taoist mountain centers, Lung Shan or Mao Shan, can use this or have it. Um, the next most important thing to say about it is that it will never be taught to somebody who will use these to make money for himself. If it is necessary to take a stipend for support or in a burial, that's all right. But the Taoist must never use these secrets to make money for himself or his family. Everything the Taoist does is to help others. This first page I'm going to show you is page 33. That's what it looks like. And I'll, ex I'll read it very briefly on the top. It's in, uh, after the actual title, it's in four lines. The first line gives what a grade one Taoist re re receives that he or she may be ordained. And this very first manual given to them is called Da Dong Jing, or the Gold Pavilion uh, Manual. The Gold Pavilion Manual basically teaches apophatic meditation, emptying meditation. And even though it's called grade one, everybody up to grade five must be given to it but the one may, who may transmit it must be from the Lunghushan Taoist or the Maoshan Taoist Center, nowhere else. The second of the transmissions is the register of the thunder and lightning tradition. This is so special and we'll give another second lecture on that itself, but it just summarize that it uses thunder and lightning from the heavens to purify myself of all desires, desire to be holy even for myself. And so that after the thunder and lightning cleanses me, then I will only help other people, not help myself make money, but help other people find a way to live and to find food and to find happiness. And then the next one is called the grade four and five Zheng Yi Meng Wei. The, the Zheng Yi Orthodox one uh, list of manuals, rituals, and secrets that go with them. And these three systems are that which make you a grade five, four, three, or two. Nobody gets grade one unless you're the head of the order. Then the last line is what Taoists receive who haven't gone through all these things, but only are able to do the ritual, even if they cannot uh, see the spirits or use the proper mudra or mantra, they are allowed to chant the texts and help people. But again, they must do it if the higher Taoists can't be found or if uh, faithful coming to a temple or what would it be for us a church to have ritual done, then they do the lesser rituals for them. And then after that, grade six, seven, eight, and nine are what we would call deacon, subdeacon, acolyte. These are men and women uh, trained to help, but who know none of the secrets. And that's something that uh, very few Western scholars who've written books on Taoism that I've ever read understand anything about this because they have not themselves been trained as Taoists or gone to on-site places. And that's something very important to understand. Uh, the book which actually explains them, I'll just show it to you, but I won't use it today. Uh, the teachings of Taoist Master Zhuang, my master in Taiwan, uses this book and explains quite a few parts of it. But we'll do that at another time. Finally, I want to end my talk this morning on how and why this came to me. Uh, the present celestial master is the 61st, 65th Pope. Uh, more two centuries ago, uh, well, two, uh, two centuries ago, 1861 and 1868, 
the 61st celestial master, foresaw, the spirits told him, that a century from now a terrible atheist ruler of China would destroy Taoist books, and therefore he made a collection of them, put them in a box, and he said, uh, take these, uh, Taoists that come from Taiwan, Mr. Tu, Chen and Chuang, give them to them, tell them, bring them back to Taiwan, 1861, 1868, they'll come twice, and tell them a hundred years from now, a foreigner will come to the front door of the your grandson, Zhuang, and Zhuang is to give these to the foreigner. Don't worry, it's safe. He knows too about it, and he will bring them back to us a hundred years from now. And so that's exactly what happened. Uh, I was told to do it while living in Taiwan by a medium who also heard it from a spirit. I was to go to the front door of Taoist Master Zhuang, eight in the morning, knock on the door, and he'd be waiting for me. So I did. I went uh, December 2nd, 1968, eight in the morning to Zhuang's family house in Xinju City, which is right behind the Chonghuang Temple, where I went every day. And of all things, he was waiting for me with his wife, with a breakfast, with these books. The rest of the story, how they were published in Japan, will do in a second setting. I just want to point out today that without this beautiful book, Dao Jiao Mi Jue Ji Cheng, or in Japanese, Dokyo Hi Ketsu Shusei, a collection of Taoist esoteric teachings, you are not either a real Taoist, nor do you understand what the reality of Taoist meditation and ritual is about. Thank you very much for listening today. I do have a quick question, sure, Professor Sasso. Um, I just heard you liken the Taoist celestial master to the Catholic Pope. Yes. And then as you described the lower levels of ordination, such as a deacon or a layperson or things like that, uh, people that would administer certain things to the people that would come for lesser rites, I noticed that you also used those Catholic terms instead of Taoist terms as you described those. And I wondered if you wanted to elaborate on that. Are there exact corollaries between Taoist practitioners and Catholic practitioners? That's a very excellent question. Let me take my glasses off as I answer it. The Taoist teachings, purification, uh, then sacred image, emptying all images, going to the crucifixion of Jesus images, and then union, is exactly the, the Ignatian prayer system, identical in structure to the Taoist system. So that's why you sort of interchangeably use those different terms, yes. the Catholic and so the Taoist. I must give another talk showing that okay. similarity. But today, uh, there's so much just in this. So recalling this, then I can give the second talk, uh, the Taoist okay. steps and their absolute similarity to identity to, and any system, Sufi Kabbalah, going to uh, an encounter with the transcendent Yahweh or Allah, that system must take those steps or it can't see it. And that will have another uh, lecture again to explain that similarity. Thank you so much today. At this time, I'd like to encourage all of you viewers and um practitioners of spiritual faith. If you have any questions for Professor Sasso about these videos that we make, we encourage you highly to either reach out on Facebook or drop a comment here on YouTube, and we'll try to get to every single one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.